Fox 5's Misha DeBono is live in the South Bay tonight to explain. Misha, good evening. Yeah, it's certainly an interesting concept, Phil. So the beach here in Imperial Beach is closed from the border to the very north end of the city. This happens every time it rains, and that is because water flows from the Tijuana River Valley, untreated sewage many times into our ocean, which then begs the question, because we, the virus that causes COVID-19 has been found in wastewater, could you get COVID-19 from going into contaminated oceans? A mother and child enjoy an afternoon stroll looking for treasures in the ocean off Imperial Beach despite posted warning signs of dangerous bacteria levels. Beach closures due to runoff of untreated sewage from Tijuana are a regular occurrence in IB, especially following rain. But with the SARS-CoV-2 virus identified in wastewater, there are concerns about exposure from contact with the ocean leading to COVID-19. I always, you know, it's always been presented as an airborne. Right. So the fact that it's in the water, yeah, that's even more um, daunting. This woman enjoys watching the surfers from her beachfront condo, but says she would never go in the water. There can be long-term effects. It's not just a matter of, you know, getting a bug and letting it, you know, run through you as the... Uh, as the case may be. But. According to the CDC and multiple studies, the virus that causes COVID-19 has been found in untreated wastewater. However, researchers do not know if a person can contract COVID-19 if they're exposed to SARS-CoV-2 in untreated wastewater. And to date, there are no known cases, but it is being studied. The Surfrider Foundation's Clean Border Water Campaign echoes the concern, providing this statement, which reads in part, initial testing has shown evidence of SARS-CoV-2 in the coastal waters near the San Diego Tijuana border, but it's not clear if the viral particles are viable and infectious. It goes on to say the general consensus is that SARS-CoV-2 might be transmittable through the fecal oral route, meaning you have the potential of getting sick from a whole host of fecal borne illnesses if you go into contaminated water. However, the risk of contracting COVID in this way is considered low due to the rapid inactivation of the virus when it hits water. So again, these, this beach here will be closed until water samples deem that it is safe for the public. As for all of our beaches, they say it's just under an advisory, and they always say that 72 hours after rain, it's just a good idea to stay out. From Imperial Beach, Misha DeBono, Fox 5 News. Misha, thank you so much for that.